All right, what's up guys? It's Thursday morning here in Da Nang, and I'm just sitting at a coffee shop called May Coffee, which is a cool little shop kind of on Bak Deng Street, which is sort of overlooks the Han River. It's a bit of a view. So we've actually been back in Da Nang since November 3rd. Very sneaky. But uh, we thought this time when we flew in, I was saying to Jazz, like, I wonder if we should make a little video kind of highlighting or outlining the steps that are involved when you're arriving into Da Nang International. Now this isn't someone doing a domestic flight, more international flights. And more for someone that's doing this for the first time, not an avid traveler, it's kind of routine for them. But even for us coming back, we've been in and out of the airport this the past year like several times, and there's always a few steps that are involved. So I thought maybe we would highlight that for people and give them maybe a little bit of peace of mind. Because if you're flying overseas, not just to Vietnam, to any country, and you don't have somebody waiting for you on the other end, it, it can seem maybe a little daunting or give you a little anxiety. What do I do when I get to the airport? How do I get to the city? Am I gonna get ripped off? Is there taxis? Do I have shuttles to my airport? What is the process when you arrive? Is there a visa there? Do I get it stamping? Where do I pay? So I kind of wanted to make a little video to show you guys step by step with visuals so you can see it yourself and maybe it'll give you a bit more peace of mind when you do arrive. So off the bat, Da Nang International has two terminals, a domestic and an international which was originally built in 1940 and is the third largest and busiest airport in the country and just completed their new international terminal, also known as the T2, and it gives it a whole new modern look. It's really beautiful. So one of the huge benefits of Da Nang Airport is where it's situated in the city. It's only a two and a half, three kilometer drive to the city center, which may be 10 to 15 minutes, depending on traffic, which isn't usually very heavy. And the domestic terminal is located right beside the international. So if you ever had to, you know, you got mixed up with a flight, you just walk across, it takes less than 10 minutes. So once you exit the plane, just follow the crowd through the corridor en route to the baggage claim, which is on the lower level. When you get to the escalator here, you can see to the right is the immigration officers waiting to stamp your passport, and straight ahead is the VOA desk. And to the left is the toilets, which is what we all know, as soon as you get off that plane, we're all bolting to it anyway. But at this area, I had to shut my camera off, so I'll just kind of walk you through the steps after this. So at this point, I'm not gonna go too in depth with the visa process. Hopefully, if you've gotten yourself to this point, you've already taken care of that. I will give you the website that we used when we first applied for a visa on arrival. They are a legit site, which is very easy to navigate through and made life super easy. So when you arrive to the visa on arrival counter, you're gonna get an application form, which you're gonna fill out quickly. And hopefully you already have with you the approval letter that you printed out from applying for your visa. You also should have two passport photos and make sure you have US funds, okay? The stamping fee, depending on what visa you have for a single entry right now, I think it's $25 and a multiple entry is $50 stamping fee. You have to pay that when you get there. Make sure you have US funds, that's what they accept. I will tell you, Jazz and I had a bit of a brain fart one time coming back from Hong Kong and we did not have any US funds. They did accept Hong Kong dollars. They charged us a little bit more with the exchange, but I don't recommend that. Have US funds with you, okay? So once you fill out the application, you got all your paperwork with you, you're gonna hand it back into the officers at the counter. It can take, I don't know, it's taken 10, 15 minutes depending on the queue, and then they'll call your name, they'll hand you back your passports, you got your new visa arrival stamp, and voila, you're off to the races. Now once you're past immigration and have picked up your luggage, you can start making your way to the exit. And inside the arrival hall, you will see a duty-free shop, a couple tour information desks, a foreign exchange booth, and a taxi desk. And just next to all of that, they have a SIM card station for those of you that want a Vietnam SIM card right away. And if not, don't sweat, there are a dime a dozen around the city, you can pick up a cheap SIM card anywhere and after that you're gonna to proceed to the last scan of your luggage and then you're good to go so if you're a super proactive person and you already have Vietnamese dong on you then give yourself a pat in the back and wow you're so good but if you're like Jazz and I and you're a last minute person if you walk as soon as you walk out the doors make an immediate left and you will see a sign stating banking services head in there and you can withdraw some cash here's a little tip about ATMs most machines give you a withdrawal limit I think it's about two and a half to three million dong at a time, but it, which is what they have there at the airport. But if you're willing to wait, or if you want in the city, look for an HSBC. They have a few of them scattered around. They allow a higher limit, at least for our cards anyway. They give us 5.6 million each time, which they do double the bank fee, uh, the ATM fee, which is like 50,000 dong, but at least it saves you a few trips to ATMs because it gives you a larger amount. So now the last portion is to figure out your transportation from Da Nang International to your location in the city where you're going. If you've already set that up with your Airbnb host, 
or your hotel, then you're laughing. Just look for the guy outside with the sign. He'll be waiting for you. If you're going old school, like Jazz and I tend to do, or most people do when they arrive here, is take a taxi. You can expect a long lineup of taxis waiting to serve you. There's usually a gentleman that will approach you and ask for your destination in the city and appoint you to a car to take your luggage to. And to be honest, there really isn't a big difference between taxi companies. You might pay a few cents more a kilometer here and there, but at the end of the day, you're talking less than a dollar difference. You know, you pay a little bit more per kilometer with an SUV or a van, a little bit less with a four-seater sedan. The major companies are Venus Sun, uh, which is the green and white cars. You got TN Taxi, the yellow cars, Mei Lin, the green cars, and more and more Da Nang taxis are popping up. Just a little word of advice coming into the city. Make sure you have your address written down or on your phone, because 99% of taxi drivers don't speak English at, at all in Da Nang, none. So they may know your hotel if it's a major one, but if not, have the location written down, show it to them. It'll make your life 100 times easier. So what can you expect as cost going from the airport to the city center? Again, it varies depending on where you're going, but roughly 60,000 dong to 150 in that region, okay? And if you're going to Hoi An, which is about 40 kilometers away, you're looking at about 400,000 to 500,000 trip. To give you guys a little perspective, from the airport to a la carte hotel, a 7.4 kilometer drive, which is fairly close to where we live, was 126,000 dong, sorry, and took us 17 minutes. But it was rush hour time in the city. Now I have done that trip in like 11, 12 minutes, but it all depends on the day. And as far as taxi meters, uh, everyone might have a give you a different story. In the year and a bit that we've been living here, I've never gotten into a taxi that doesn't have a meter ready to go. I've never had to negotiate a price. So just something to think about if you do get in a taxi and there's no meter on, get out. And as far as taxi companies here in the city, I'm really, really impressed with them. They're the professionalism, they're always really well dressed, the cars are spotless, they're very accommodating with your bags, uh, you know, the, the English might be a little bit lacking, but that's okay, but they try their best, they're smiling. Uh, overall, all the, all the companies I have no problem with. Another thing to be aware at the end is whether you're entering into the airport or when you're leaving the airport, when you pay your final fee with the taxi, he's going to show you a little receipt. That receipt gives you a price, it's usually 15,000 dong. That's an airport tax that the car has to pay entering and exiting the airport. We have to pay that as customers. So if our so our fare was 126,000 dong, add 15,000 extra to that, it's less than a dollar. And one more thing I wanna mention about living here in Da Nang and, and things have improved greatly over the, even this past year, is that this is quickly becoming a hot spot for tourism and for good measure. But every week I like to pop on websites like AirAsia or Hong Kong Express even domestic flights like Vietjet or Jetstar. And more and more routes are opening up all the time from Da Nang, direct flights to different countries, all within Southeast Asia, within the Asian continent. For example, we just got back from Bali. So return trip for the three of us, me, Jazz, and Georgia. Mind you, Georgia was a free flight there, but she was a cost coming back. The three of us flew for under $500. For us to go to Kuala Lumpur right now, which is in Malaysia, $31 one way. I found a flight with Hong Kong Express to Japan for $61 going one way. Thailand, uh, or Bangkok, which is Thailand, and Hong Kong, $53 one way. There's flights opening up all the time. Even from last year when we first arrived to now, there's flights to Sydney, Auckland, India, the Maldives, or Maldives, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, China, Singapore, Korea, all the, everywhere. And look for, look for seat sales or deals, because they're happening all the time. It just makes things exciting. It's a, it's a hub, it's a hub here at Da Nang, and it makes things very easy for people to transit in and around the Asian continent, which we love. Da Nang International is opening up more and more routes all the time to everywhere around the Asian continent, and even outside the Asian continent. Um, they saw 11 million passengers last year in 2017 alone, which is like a, it was like a 24 point something percent increase. I did Google that, which is just exciting times for travel enthusiasts that are expats that are living here or for anyone. But yeah, I think that's it. I hope that kind of gives you a little bit more insight or maybe alleviate some stress or concerns you may have coming into Da Nang. Uh, please let me know any experiences you had or maybe something that I've missed. Uh, share below. I'll put some links below too in the description for for like the visa, the Vietnam visa website that we used or even the international Da Nang International Airport so you can navigate through and check flights. You can see a map of the layout of the, of the inside of the airport. But yeah, uh, I hope that helps guys. This was in a normal video uh, we'll, this is kind of like a midweek kind of bonus thing and we'll get back to the normal one on Monday 
which will have lots of Georgia, lots of jazz. Maybe I'll put Georgia in right now so this video wasn't a complete bore. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys Monday. Thanks for watching. What letter is that? Little I. Little I for what, what animal is that? Um, cute. Cute. Little iguana. <laughs> Cute little eye. Cute little eye. Does he swim or does he walk on the land? Walk. He walks. And what letter is this one? Um, Big Daddy E. Big Daddy E. For what? Uh, for what animal? Little baby E. Little baby E. Right there. Yeah. We say the Elfie. Um, he go see the baby. He's going to see his babies? Yeah. Oh, cute. Say, go find your babies, little mama. <laughs> right? Here we go, Uffy. Here we go, mommy. Uffy, go see your baby. Go see your babies. Okay, okay, I'm going. I'll go over here.